So what happened is um, they need to Chengdu AG need to guarantee the beginning growth mm -hmm. for the whole team. Otherwise, it will be quite difficult. Yeah, they have to start at the pace in eight minutes or, or six minutes. Yeah. Before yeah. Enemy yeah. minions will All arrive right. in five right. seconds. All right, let's dive into this game. And this is the first game of Beijing Weibo and Chengdu AG. Okay, this is quite important for them because this is the last point for the semi-final. Let's hear the voice. We can see how the fans are enthusiastic, uh, enthusiastic about those teams. Oh, I love that feeling, you know. I love that feeling. Yeah. I love the passion. I love the energy that come from the fans. Yeah, look at mine. Okay. Really aggressive. Really aggressive. Yeah, they just need to keep the power tier of the mid lane. Yeah, and that okay. <laughs> just make some rotation. I might you need to make the rotation to the top side and help the um, have Lampor to gain the Weaver Sprite. Yep, and then to see they're going to the mid lane and probably they want to make some actions. Yeah, they just target to the Weaver Sprite of the mid lane. And then four members going down to four members keep the priority of the mid lane and then members being taken a half. So yeah, to be I have to retreat right now. Yeah, so this is actually a like disadvantage in the very beginning of the game. Yeah. A little bit, but yeah, it doesn't matter because that's that's a matter of time. Mm, actually, AG they, they want to keep the priority um, of the early of the early game and the mid game. They need some time to doing this because and some time for doing this mm -hmm. uh, because you know constantly you need the doom state the first item. Doomsday is quite important for him. Now we can see um, Lan is already in um, level 5 now. Mm -hmm. So Lan Yang farm up so quick. Really quick. Yeah. Just like what he used to be. <laughs> always to be. He always did. And then a second round of the blue bar. Why they farm up so please? You know, it again. Because they, they actually they don't have enough damage to guarantee any kill in the early game. But wow, look at that! That's a great ambush! And Xiao Yi's um, Xiao Yi's damage that way. That is a really good assault. Yeah. And the good thing is we can see Lian Po is helping um, with the site and then leave the um, the finance to Mai and Lai. Yeah, in the top. Okay, look at the bottom side. Second ability to dodge the CC of that. And then, okay, Ice will guarantee that kill. Quite important. And then, you know, he's just frenzied and trying to do something to the two frontliners, but not enough damage to gain himself that extra kill. But once again, Xiao Yin versus Quajian. Does have some extra trade. Yep, so now it's like 1 to 1 on the both sides. One to one. One to one. So far it's 50-50. Uh, it's quite tight. The thing is that the Empo without a like a beginning um, finance is actually quite hard to, to do more damage mm. during the team fight. Yep. But um is really effective in the early game skirmish. Yeah, he's so tanky and then with a lot of CC. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at this replay. Second DC, knock back, and then your order hit. Hmm, but unfortunately, Lamper have two CC, uh, has have have a second CC or the second ability. Chao Xi should use the flash at that time, I think. But probably he saved the um, save the flash at the um, later game. Yeah, he just underestimated the damage of Lamper at that time. Right, well, you see how. Xiao to get away. <laughs> so aggressive. And yeah. yeah, look at Yi Nuo. Oh, I think Yino. this is a quite bad positioning at that time. But Yi Nuo has got the move. Mm. By some Yeah. During the um, during the whole game, we can see that like, the both teams are actually pretty aggressive, as you mentioned in the beginning. And then, like the both sides are moving really quick yeah. from each lane to another. Because the first game is so important. Okay, look at Shaolin's been taken very low right now, and then Shaolin's four. 
a look at Lian Po. It's been taken very well. Okay, one, two, and trade. Sideline to the sideline once again. A look at the mid lane. Okay. And that, yeah. well, that's uh, back in the like the beginning, uh, back in the past. Uh, the, um, that is the good thing about Yi Xing. Mm. So you can all of a sudden like put the limitations and then circle the whole battleground yeah. for the advantage of our own team. Mm. But the speed of the rotation, I think um, Beijing Lei Bo is more quicker. Yeah, more quicker because they, they always can find the timing I mean. to make a gank happen. Exactly, that is actually a really good point. Oh, this is a nice ambush and use the ultimate to find a stun onto Miyamoto Musashi. And then the lamp will back up very in time in this game. That in is, this team fight. That is the teamwork we're always looking for. Yeah, okay. and the individual ability is so important. Look at them board. Okay, use the ultimate to find a stun on the easy, but not much Red damage can follow up. Has destroyed and the top tower. turret of the uh, of the Beijing Wave board has been destroyed by the AG, by Yi Mo. Just a simple trait of the outer turret, but Nuanya already steal the blue path away. They're doing the same thing, knock back two, and look at another damage. Can the damage can follow up or not? Okay, Dunshan. Okay, it's been knocked out. It's been taken very low right now. Dunshan is full. And look at another damage. The more trying to get inside is trying to catch the so Yinot right there. But look at Hua Jian. A combo bought into Xiao Yi to pass it to Chigger so he can save his life. The passive of using will have an extra life. Yep, and also we can see the pros and cons by using Lian Po. Indeed, Lian Po most of the time can use the um, the skill sets mm -hmm. to avoid control yeah. uh, and the um, limitations. However, if you face Yi Xing, then that is actually will be de uh, like terminated by the um, Yi Xing's skill and abilities. Yeah. It's easy to be isolated. Yeah. So I, I think the more have to be careful about this. You cannot, you cannot just uh, leave your teammates for a uh, too long distance. Yeah, but that like that was actually a pretty good um, team fight and a pretty good pullbacks for the both teams. Yep. But right now, I think still 50-50, Even though, uh, even though uh, the, the team fight. Beijing Weibo, it's more aggressive in this time, but I think the AG, they have the ability to strike back. Yeah. They need, only thing they need is to find a rhythm in the game. Find a window to break! Yep. So they have to be careful because Blue one single mistake was a lot of butterfly effect. Yep, and also AG need to be really careful about the, uh, the tyrant number because it's actually not that healthy for them at the moment. Has destroyed yep. a tower. Tyrant, tyrant has by AG defeated. right now. Yep. They have the vision. Actually, they can uh, gain this tyrant, uh, get this tyrant uh, with the same plan, same stage. But if you look at the, um, the the top lane, the confirmed lane, the mineral, uh, the miners has already pu pushing to the high ground. Hmm. But it doesn't matter. You know, play this way. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you look in this way. Then uh, they, they, they just uh, want you uh, fight for some vision in the midland. And seeing you as we take a half and look at some more jump inside. You know, it's in danger oh, right now. But you know, just jump. Back and dash and try to find another damage inside. And Miyamoto Musashi jump into the back line, but not enough damage for the kill right now. 0 2 2 trade. That's a big win of the big victory of Beijing Weibo. And right now, the wrap up, they want more. They want this wrap. 3 versus 5. And AG is hard to defend. Especially with um, two people, two men down from AG side. Let's check the replays over there. Okay, you know, it seems uh, that Kinlin has to use a full ability open to get himself away. And then Dun Shan will isolate it, the front liner. Yep. And interestingly enough, the more actually found the umbrella for Yino Sam Dong Sun Li. It's quite good. The more performed so well today. 
the engagement. Yeah, the engagement from the more absolutely brilliant, fantastic. Yeah. But the game is still going on. Yeah. And Chongo Eiji, they have to find, um, find the right timing to strike back because uh, uh, right now it's been 10 minutes. Not much time for this conversation, so uh, the clock's ticking right now. Yeah. Just we mentioned in the beginning, like for Eiji's team, they really need to find the advantage before 10 minutes. Mm. But now, like, they still got a chance. It's just to see how they can start the fight. Yeah, just they, like now. <laughs> they need um, perfect teamwork. Oh, look at seeing you. That's a quite big mistake of that because he used a flash with a second ability into the air. And then two more jump inside. Knock off Lambert, but not much damage can come, uh, can, can follow up. And then Chao Xi got stuck in that. And look at Lan, Chao inside the back line and trying to find the damage on that. Miyamoto Musashi is in down. And look at Lan, look at Nayang, he's trying to kill more, trying to gain him some more kill of that. And that, that would be the 2 to 2 trade. And war! Double kill back over to the Chao Xi. Chao Xi is a big force and stay, and he stayed. Uh, He's standing uh, yeah. until the team fight ends. Xiao Xi, Xiao Xi and Duan Yang, the two core player. Mm -hmm. And Duan Yang did a lot of damage yep. to the um, to AG. And he absorbed a lot of the damage as well. Just after Dun Shan used his whole, uh, whole ability trying to engage and now just like 4v5 at the time. And then Yi Jing, Yi Jing this ultimate, I think it's pretty good, but the Dun Shan's ultimate just block everyone outside. No one can get into the back line. So that Chao Xi, wow, is uh, already invincible at the time. And they use the flash to chase after Yi Nuo. Yep. So great. I think Xing Yu, maybe he has some mistake at the time, but yeah, this ultimate just save a lot of things. Yep, and we can see Nui Yang actually cut half of the way through mm -hmm. into, into the group fight. Yeah. Okay, so AG need to pay a lot of attention about Nui Yang. But what about Xiao Xi? Xiao Xi has, has a, has is a true core of the, of the team fight. Yeah, now it's more like invincible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at Xiao Xi, it's like 9.3k. 9.3k, Doomsday, Shadow Reaper, Eternity Blade, and he's heading to the Daybreaker. So it's like basically one or two Ks um, mm -hmm. in four head, like compared with um, AG. So AG needs to find a way to stop Chelsea in this way. Yeah, and look at this Shadow Overlord. There will be something happening here. Look at Xing Yu. Xing Yu is really taking a half. Zhu Mo offers some assistance. And they have to reset the Shadow Overlord because they're not quite healthy at the time. But Zhu Mo is so tanky. Okay, this like moving in. Okay. Oh, right. look at this. Come on, he found the Yino there, and that way Yino you know, has been eliminated within a second. And right now, look at Lam trying to offer some protection to the Huajia. And Huajia has been taken very low, but he's still alive. Once again, 0 to 3. That's a, that's a good trade for Beijing Weibo. Nayang was. Uh, Yino was all actually vanished in a second, mm. like during that fight. Zemo is so great. This kind of engagement is so great. And right now, Xiao Yi is taking very low. Tassif's in shaker and then enamelates by Nan Yang. And right now, they can destroy the base directly. And congratulations to the Beijing Weibo. Actually, they gain themselves the first point. And that is the first game.